Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Now today I'm going to show you this beautiful textured blanket. This is a fan or a shell, whichever you want to call it. I've done it in this really pretty grey. This is a so crafty Aran and it says dark grey but it's not that dark. A grey actually. And I'm going to show you how to do this. It's a beautiful texture. The way you do it, for some reason, it keeps some of your shell to the front and it kind of pulls a couple of them to the back. So you get this beautiful texture in your blanket. I didn't put a border on this because it's got a really nice straight edge. It's a, a really nice straight edge comes out really straight look at that and it is so pretty i'm going to show you how to do it it's a two row repeat and it's really easy don't think you can't do this you can you will be able to do this so to do this shell pattern you need your chain and sets of four so the stitch count is four Use the hook size that tells you on the yarn that you're going to use. So I'm going to make myself a chain and set it to four. That's one, two, three, and four. Keep your chains kind of loose. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. I'm going to add an extra one stitch. Just one stitch. Now into the second stitch in your chain, do not count the loop. One, two, I'm going to do a UK double crochet. And if you're in the USA or another country, this is a single crochet. Into that stitch. I'm going to skip three stitches. One, two, three. Now into the fourth stitch, I'm going to do a UK treble crochet and if you're in the usa this is a double crochet for you so yarn through so we're going to make our first shell so we've done one treble crochet now chain one and then into the same stitch do another treble crochet so that's our second one then chain one and do another one, that's three. And chain one and do another treble crochet. That's four. So your shell is made up with four treble crochets with a chain in between the middle ones. You're going to skip three. Now make sure you pull those stitches back because you, that one hides in there. So one, two, three, and then do a double crochet. Just put your double crochet in. Then skip three, one, two, three, and into the fourth one, you're going to do that shell again. So it's a treble crochet, chain one, treble crochet all into the same stitch chain one so that's my second one that's my third one chain one and put my fourth treble crochet in make sure you pull your stitch back so one two three and then double crochet and then one two three and you're going to do another shell so that's one treble crochet and chain one that's one done that's two then chain do your third one and then chain one and then your fourth So you're going to skip three, one, two, three, and double crochet. Oops. Skip three, one, two, three, 
skip three, one, two, three, put your fan in or your shell. So we're doing another shell, that's one, chain one, two, chain one, and to the same stitch, that's three, treble crochet, chain one, and do your fourth one. And you should have skip one, two, skip one, two, three, and double crochet into the end. As long as you finish on a double crochet on that end one. So that is your first row done. What we're going to do now is we're going to chain three. One, two, three, and turn your work. So that becomes your first treble crochet. So you're going to chain one more and then into the bottom of that stitch put another treble crochet. A treble crochet in there. Now you're going to go into the middle of your shell, that middle one. So you're skipping one, two, three stitches. So you've got four, one, two, three, four. You're going into the middle and do a double crochet into the middle. Now down into that double crochet there, you're going to do a shell. So yarn over and you're going to do your four treble crochets with your chains. So your first treble crochet, chain one, your second treble crochet, chain one, your third one, chain one, and your fourth one. Don't do a chain after that fourth one. Go into the middle of your shell and do a double crochet. Move to the double crochet in between your shells, that double crochet down there, and make another shell. Yarn over and it's one treble crochet, one chain, then another treble crochet and chain one. Put your third one in and chain one and then your fourth one. Then go into the middle of your shell again into here and do your double crochet. Jump over to the double crochet down in that V part there and do your next shell. So that's one treble crochet, one chain, your second treble crochet, one chain, your third treble crochet, one chain and your fourth. But don't do a chain after that one. Then go into the middle of your next span and do a double crochet. Now down into this double crochet here. Now down into the double crochet here you're going to put a treble crochet, chain one and another treble crochet. You're doing like a V stitch down in here. So right on the very end, treble crochet, chain one and treble crochet. So you're going to chain one and turn. Now into that V stitch that you have here, you're going to do a double crochet. Double crochet into that stitch. So that is your V stitch on the end and you've got your double crochet here before you get to your first shell. You're going to put a shell into this double crochet. You'll put a double crochet into the top of this one and then make a shell here in between these two. You'll do a double crochet into the middle of this one, make a shell in here 
double crochet into the middle of this shell you've got your four stitches in there and then you'll make a shell here and you'll double crochet in to this V stitch at the end. So into the double crochet that's next, you're going to do your four treble crochets with your chain in the middle. So that's one, then chain one, into the same stitch, that's two, then chain one, another one, that's three and chain one and your fourth one that completes that shell now move to the top of this shell you're skipping one two three stitches and you're going in between the two v's in this shell double crochet then in between these two and to the double crochet you're going to do your next shell treble crochet chain one that's one done that's two remember your chain one that's three chain one and your fourth one do not do a chain one after that fourth one so there's your shell, you're going into the middle and doing a double crochet. So you're going into this ballet part here where your double crochet is, you're going to do a shell. One, chain one, two, chain one, three, chain one, and four. into the middle of your next one and do your double crochet and then in to this double crochet here and do your shell so that's one treble crochet chain one that's two chain one three chain one and four And then into your V stitch that you have on the end, you're doing a double crochet. So now we're going to make another V stitch. So you're going to chain three, one, two, three, and turn your work. So you're going to chain one more for your chain one. So that's your treble crochet and your chain one. And into that same stitch, into where the double crochet is, you'll do a treble crochet and that makes a V stitch so when you remember up your side you're doing a, a double crochet a V stitch a double crochet a V stitch a double crochet a V stitch up the edges of your blanket so now we've got a little V stitch we're going into the middle with a double crochet of that shell now make sure you don't count that part. So that's your shell there. You've got one, two, three spaces in your shell. You're going into the middle one. So that is the middle. And do a double crochet. So down into the middle of the V, you're going to make a new shell. So that's four treble crochets, but you've got your chains in the middle. So chain one, that's one done. That's two, chain one. Three, chain one. And four. That's that shell done. That's that shell done in the middle. Then over to this double crochet, you're going to do a V stitch. So it's one treble crochet chain one and one double crochet and already you can see that texture starting to show on this and these are the two rows that you'll repeat 
So you've got your end with a double crochet on one row and the next row it's a V stitch. So you're going to chain one and turn and then into there, that V stitch, you're going to put a double crochet. Then you're going to this double crochet right beside it. So these are the two rows you'll keep repeating. So just rewind the video to where I do the double crochet, then a V stitch. Your next row starts with a double crochet. Your next row starts with a V stitch. Into the next one, you're going to build your shell. Into the top of this shell, you're going to double crochet. Then do a shell into this double crochet here. Double crochet to lock it down into the top of this one. Then do your shell down here. And then up to the top of this shell and double crochet. And then do your shell on the end. And a double crochet into the V stitch at the end. So I'm going to do my shell. That's one treble crochet, one chain. That's my second treble crochet. One chain. That's my third one. One chain. And my fourth. Double crochet into the top of the shell. I didn't do a border down the sides because my sides are nice and straight with that double crochet and the V stitch on the ends here. And then your double crochet and your V stitch. And just remember you're doing your shell in between. The ones that are there double crochet into the top of the shell make your new shell then double crochet and make your new shell and it's really pretty give it a try it looks complicated but it's not honestly it's not just rewind the video for those two rows you start your row with a double crochet then you'll do your fan double crochet your next row is a v-stitch then do a fan or a shell, <laughs> do a shell and a double crochet in a shell. And that's all you keep repeating. And you get that beautiful, beautiful pattern. Look at that. And the texture's amazing on it. It really is. And the yarn I've used for that, I've got loads of this, is this So Crafty Aldi yarn. It says it's dark grey, but I don't think it's dark grey at all. And it is the correct label for it. But it says it's dark grey. And that is from Aldi's. It's super yarn and it's so, so soft. And it's an Aran thick. That's a, a number four if you're in the USA. This is a, a four. So thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed already. It is totally free to subscribe to the channel. And if you want, you don't have to, but if you want, you can click on the bell icon and YouTube will tell you when I put up another tutorial. So until the next time, happy crafting and I'll see you all again soon. Goodbye.